Hey, we're back. The Science Squad is investigating another hot case here today, the one that people have wanted a lot of answers to. We're filming this back to back with the Starbucks video, so we're hoping you liked it. <laughs> if, if you didn't, we'll get ready for another investigation. <laughs> I, guess I, I was about to lie too and say all the comments on the Starbucks one wanted the Duncan one, but you debunked me right off the bat. Yeah, I figured honesty is the best policy in this so, laboratory, so yeah. Yeah, that's why you can see bits of Starbucks <laughs> coffee in there, but we're going to clean it, okay? Yeah, it won't be contaminated. Here, let me get this out of the way. So, what's our hypothesis this time? So, I think. Value per dollar. We're looking at. <laughs> what was your hypothesis? I forgot. I, you I agree with you. All right. So my hypothesis that I came up with after the Starbucks video right. was I expected the variance to be pretty small. Like you're paying the same. Like the milliliters per dollar are essentially going to be pretty close to each other with a little bit of variance um, because that just makes sense. What do you think is going to happen? Oh, I just agree with that. You agree. But yeah, that like makes sense every good to me. science team would. We wouldn't be on a team if we didn't think the same. Stop saying it on every tier list that I say the same thing. Mm -hmm. This is no ice small, light ice small, ice small, ice medium, ice large. Okay. So we should... We're scientists. We learn from each experiment we do. Yeah. Let's measure the ice of each one as well. Excellent. You still have written down how much was in each Starbucks I one do. so we can why compare like sizes to sizes. I lay it out for you real quick. Just starting with the, they also do not charge for ice. Great news. Or Excellent. less ice. So we've got, starting with the small, 373, mm -hmm. 411, 448. So it's cheaper than Starbucks. It is cheaper than Starbucks. Interesting, interesting. You want to start with the small no ice again? Yes, I think it's important. It's our baseline study. Now, do you want to pick one it probably won't fit in again? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we're learning, see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great pour, great pour. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! What is, it's the meniscus at the top, right? Yeah. Are we sure? Because that's also a part of the body. No, it is called the meniscus. Okay. There's a reason they're called the same thing. It's because they look the exact same. Ah, uh, interesting. He's making up so I'm on a groundbreaking shit. scientific gonna... discovery here. Yeah! No, no. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. You're going to have a few casualties. If you want to make an omelet, you got to break a few eggs. All right, so this one is just shy of 450 mil... Well, it's, it's more like 425 milliliters worth of coffee. Yep, 425, I would say... Perfect. Now, what does that equate to in dollar per milliliter of coffee? Very. Con I know the numbers are telling us stuff. I know they're helping, but I don't think I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> I do just want to put that into the universe. Uh, the, but the, the, the good thing is, change, the so. good thing is we're doing the same numbers as the right. last video without ever seeing the feedback. Yes. So we're, just, we're making the same mistake uh, again. I think it'd be really cool if the last one results in a lawsuit, and then we immediately. <laughs> Yeah, we just doubled down on loss. <laughs> but no, no, this makes no. I, I'm doubling down on my math. <laughs> okay, wait. Well. So tell me what's your formula? I'm taking the milliliters and dividing it by the money, <laughs> 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 which should in turn give us for every dollar spent, you're getting this number. Okay. I mean, to me, that makes sense. It makes it's but just I'm, math. Yeah, I'm not Oppenheimer. I yeah. wouldn't know. 113.94 milliliters per dollar oh, spent. Oh, wait. And then that's much more value than the... Uh, don't flip that like it's behind it. Oh, yeah, I guess, no sense I guess it doesn't really matter as long as your math is the exact same every time. Yeah. You're still... The you know one's bigger, bigger than the smaller. other. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah. So, Starbucks, you were getting 73. Well, this is no ice. This so is no ice. This too, one, right? which I, I did a little oh, swoopy down one? here. Yes, yeah, 76.92. Oh, my God. The value there is outrageously better, yeah. Duncan. Yeah. That's crazy. Let's take this. Oh. oh. <laughs> that just blew the whole case wide open. You know open. what? I know we're in the Duncan video, but give me the Starbucks logo and scam! Right on the front. <laughs> Alleged. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm joking. Don't sue us. Or oh, they may already screen. have, and we just don't know okay, yet. Okay, so this yeah. is 16, so that's the same as, like, the grande. Wait, it's supposed to be 16 ounces? That's 16 ounces, medium is 24, and then the other one's 32. And I spilled a little. They're so telling you the actual amount you're getting. Well, that was no ice. Well, that's yeah, no true, ice. True, it's true, supposed true. to be 473. So what's in that bad boy right there? It was 425. Mmm. Does that have ice in it? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one's closer to the true value. But the milliliters per dollar is still really good. Yeah, it's still very high. We are 
hot on the trail. Right now, there's Duncan and Starbucks executives <laughs> sweating. My phone has been blowing up from the government. They're like, please stop. They can't know this. Stop. What percentage of the cup size is coffee? Because mm. then you're, if, the, if that scales, yeah. then that's fair. And yeah. also, we'd have to get, if we were deep diving, which we're not, because we're not <laughs> smart enough for that, we'd have to take the coffee and figure out what percentage of the coffee is water. water. So you'd have to separate it. Yeah. Well, that doesn't function. It, right. But that's it, subjective it, too. It's Stronger it's coffee, coffee, weaker yeah. coffee, it's it's all up to... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But if you like caffeine, just go by caffeine content. Oh my god. Oh, then we crazy. need the caffeinometer out Also, here. if I wanted caffeine, I'd just use Code Moist on gamer subs <laughs> to get that. True. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so <laughs> do we want to work with percentages now, or is that too much for no, us? No, keep doing it like you've okay. got it. Yeah, we, we've got the method. It's repeatable, which we always learned is important in that science. I want to see you guys do this at home. I want we, to see Mark Rober's next yeah. video debunking our. Can we everybody tweet your uh, your measurements to Charlie on Twitter? I love that we're the more we do these kinds of videos, the more and more we're just scuffed Mark Rober, <laughs> somehow scuffed Cold Ones, scuffed yeah. uh, Good Mythical Morning, but we do it better. We do. So the light ice, light ice. has how many cubes? Because we can count those by eye. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. I don't here. know if you can anymore. Yeah. They that's oh, okay. it. Ready? <laughs> that's all that's left in that. They did, they did take light ice seriously. Yep. Caleb's right. You hear that? It was one. <laughs> right, one cube then. That's don't so don't drink hard. this. You're getting good at mm -hmm. that. That was a steady pour. So, this is the same size with light ice, and you're getting over 450 milliliters. Wow. That's What, what would you call that? 455? Yeah, at least a 455. 455. Wait, that makes no sense. Why? Because light ice had should, more. Yeah, it should dilute it a no bit. ice. Yeah. Unless they just didn't fill it up as much. Yeah. It could be a mess. Maybe that's the scam. You it's know a what we call shoot. that? Scam. Scam alert! The scam Allegedly. quake. Just kidding. Ah. Don't sue us. Look at, look at the large. Looking? Look, look oh, yeah, there's a lot of air. Well, hold on. Wait. We're getting ahead of yeah, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like the bag Can't rush the process. We're sitting at 121.98. Even better value. Yeah, all these being over 100 is pretty yeah. nuts, right? That's that a lot is, of value. That is significant when compared they're to basically, rivals. Yeah, they're paying you to drink their coffee. Yeah, they're point. giving it away. Um, it might as well be free. All right, now I, th I have a theory that the super ice one is going to be more in line with Starbucks. I'll do the clock. This is such that's a terrible that's a idea. idea. You're <laughs> but right. We only learn if we make mistakes. Wait, don't you need to strain it? Oh, I'm strain weight! I'm strainer. doing it handheld. Hold strainer! On. Uh, just wait, just wait. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Oh, he's a bartender. <laughs> See? No, it's... Wait, that, that piece of ice is hanging by a thread. <laughs> I'll get it out. Wait, here, give me the ice, give me the ice. There we go. Oh, wow! The hands nice. of a surgeon. <laughs> All right, and now... How much ice made it in the... No, actually. Watch this though. Let's get a little ice measurement. Yep. Can you smooth the blender? <laughs> Thank you. Hundred one grams, just like the Dalmatians. Interesting. How many grams of ice? How many grams of ice were in the Starbucks one? Do we remember? Well, I only measured the Trenta. Oh, true. So but this might be comparable amounts of ice. It's less. It, okay. I, the Trento was 140 something. Okay. I think. Okay. It'll have been You're posted not recording a week your before, so. findings? No, we didn't. No ice was important. Well, make sure you write this one down. Yep. Ice. This is pretty interesting. So, zero one. even with a lot of ice, we're still teetering on 400 milliliters worth of coffee, which is significantly better than Starbucks performed. Wow. So you're saying it's 400? Well, let's just go with like a 380. Three, it's, it's close, but not quite. Can you turn it so I can see it? Yes, 80. of course, of course. Me. God, this math is really taking it out of me. This is probably going to be like a one, 104 value per dollar. You were close. 101.87. That's still pretty good. That's great value. Duncan is really coming out with their A game. Lower prices, the milliliters are making sense for what you're what you're buying. Yeah. It, this one, I'm sorry guys, you're gonna have to work on a new scan or new screen that goes, not a scam. As advertised. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sue us, because we're being nice. So what was the variance between the light ice and the light ice? 
It was only like a. It was only like ten cents, right? No, no variance. Oh, no variance. Same price across the board. All right. Perfect. All right. Moving give us, on. Give us the medium. Moving on and moving up. Okay. All right. Brr, moving on. Check it out. You wanna? How do you wanna do this? Oh, yeah, I'll this hold time? the strainer. All right. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. We're gonna go for a quick pour. All right. A hasty one. Oh, whoa. You're fine, you're fine. Science gets dangerous sometimes. Wow. The, our notes. No. <laughs> Why did you do that? That was a reckless It's one. hard with the strainer because it comes out so wide, you can't get like a good angle. Yeah, the so ice you, just makes a mess. Better to just dump yeah, it. Yeah, you just got to go for it. Yeah, sometimes you got to just take that risk. Science is not nice to the weak. Yeah, no, that, that's what I've always heard. Well, that's supposed to be 709. Seven, oh, I'll tell you, it's not even close. It's just over 500. Well, check how much is on the table and now yeah, there's some, there's some <laughs> data on the table. Yeah. Seems... Well, that's not significant data. <laughs> some loose code is out there. Like a razor blade like, starts like, crushing it in. I'll measure the ice real quick. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, I think we could put the ice in one of those and get the milliliters of ice. Right. Out of these? I feel like you can't measure milliliters of ice because there's gaps in it. No, you could do water displacement, yeah. Yeah, less, yeah. Grams we could, or I could just use the electric scale next to me. 100 grams of ice. Even less in the medium? Less ice. Is that is that a scam in and of itself? You get less ice with a with a taller order? Or do you do you, do you want, want more ice? ice? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's the perfect number? There's so, just video after video. We have so many questions to answer. How much ice per milliliter is ideal? Interesting, interesting. But let me tell you, it's still a good ass deal. Hit, hit, me, hit me with the, the numbers. 122.87. And that's with some on the table. Well, how do you do? <laughs> interesting. And so if you compare that, that's the equivalent of the light ice ratio from before. Just if you wanted to know. <laughs> interesting. All right. So pretty good, not bad. Yeah, I think. I think we gotta move on to the large. Yeah, one more yeah. test case. <clears throat> so we're gonna I yeah, clamp, wait, clamp, wait, wait, clamp wait. it down. I would say a little more. There. We're sitting at twenty-five millimeters of air. Of dead space. Dead space, and, yep. And I paid for that. You did. I paid you for bought 25, twenty-five millimeters of air. I could just go outside for free. A free what commodity. Is this, what is this, this dead space three? Un fucking believable. This is an outrage. But I wonder if this is going to be across every Duncan. Is this mandated, you think? It probably is. They probably have it in the back. They, they show you like how much cream and stuff to put in. They probably oh, show you the air. How much air, air. in. Scam. Allegedly. Alleged scam. <laughs> but, you know what, I'll hold my thoughts until we... Maybe they can impress point. me here with the value per dollar still. Alright, how do you want to do the ice? Uh, probably just the strainer again. But this time, maybe don't do like the aggressive waterfall. Here, I'm gonna let you do it. Yeah, here, I'll show you how I'll the real strainer. man pours his coffee. Yeah, yeah, show me that. Wow. There we go. That was perfect. Yep. Didn't didn't spill a drop. All right, now let's. Let me just kind of get the extra. Yep. Push it a little bit. Do you want to measure the ice first, or measure the millimeters first? Milliliters first. Let's go. Let's go ice again. Okay. Start with the ice. Ah! This looks like more ice than the Trenta. You think? Yeah, it definitely does, actually. More ice, more air. I'm starting to feel sorry for Starbucks. Oh, it's almost identical. How much is it? 142. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot of ice. That's ridiculous. With the amount of air you're giving me? Yeah, especially with the amount of air. So then, this is 650 milliliters, roughly, of coffee. What's it supposed to be? Oh, wow, yeah. About nine, uh, 950. Oh, wow, what a fucking outrage. What? My favorite thing is that this whole thing is based on just what the cup can hold. <laughs> and we keep getting so upset. <laughs> What's what's the ratio of grams to milliliters? How do, wait, I've got a little chart here. Grams to milliliters do not convert. Yeah, you, you can't really do that. It's just not a thing. <laughs> it's still a better deal. What is it? 145.09. I love to hear that. Wow. And how much was this compared to the Starbucks one? 
That was $4.48. Oh, there's like 10 bucks. Yeah, that's a much better deal. And if you got, let's compare it to the Venti mm -hmm. over there, which this had the same amount as the Trenta. Mm -hmm. So actually, let's compare it to the Trenta. That makes a lot more sense. Five ninety five. dollars Less money, more coffee, better ingredients. I was <laughs> literally about to say that. We were right on the same page there. Anytime I do two things back to back, I'm like, yeah, that's Papa yep. John's every yeah, time. That's Papa John's. That bastard. All right, so we found out that Dunkin' Donuts is not a scam. Well, the, that air, I'm not forgetting. Yeah, the air is a, a scam. Yeah, you topped me <laughs> off when I order that. Um, so best bang for your buck is, once again, the large. So is your hypothesis more closely true on this one than it was on Starbucks? Not really. They're all just better deals. Like, Dunkin' is a better deal than Starbucks, but still, just the bigger you go, the better bang for your buck. Yeah. But who wants 650 milliliters of coffee? Probably quite a few people. Yeah, you might be right. Well, we did the math for you. Yeah. You're so, welcome. So you didn't have to. Hey, that was a good day of science. That was a lot of science. Next time, we'll tackle thermonuclear topics. Yeah, like McDonald's. <laughs> but yeah, like McDonald's. <laughs> and we'll do a old volcano baking soda. Oh, that's big. That's yeah. big. I, yeah. <laughs>